क्या आप एक मोटरसाइकिल खरीदना चाहते हो लेकिन उस पर आपके पैर पहुंचते नहीं और आपको एक क्लासिक मोटरसाइकिल पसंद है तो ये है उसका सोल्यूशन दिस इज द जावा फोर्टी टू बॉबर एंड दिस कम्स इन अ ब्रांड न्यू पेन स्कीम कॉल द मिरर ब्लैक इट लुक्स क्वाइट डोप एंड फॉर शॉर्ट ऑफ पीपल इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कंफर्टेबल मोटरसाइकिल आउट हेयर यू नो वॉट वी राइड इट एंड आई टेल यू लॉट मोर अबाउट इट सो लेट्स गो This kind of a motorcycle design is called a bobber. Bobber कोई category होती नहीं है It has become a category nowadays, but it is called a bob job. Basically, stripping down almost all the parts of the motorcycle, making it as lightweight as possible. Now, if you look at this motorcycle, the rear seat has been removed, like for the design purposes. There is a full mud guard here. There is a full mud guard up front. Both are made of metal. Most of the parts are metal, and because of that, this motorcycle is still fairly heavy at 175 kgs. Covered telescopic forks. headlight which is an led unit led indicators the black and mirror finish 14 liter fuel tank over here mirror finish is basically this chrome with java logo on the side and a bobber strip in the center single piece seat from java it is quite soft quite nice this is the chassis unit covered for now with plastic and this is the side box here is the swing arm which connects to the monoshock right below the seat and exhaust on both the ends overall this is a very very long motorcycle with almost 1400 ka wheel base plus you get led indicators and tail light at the tail also so the seat height of this motorcycle is exactly close to 740 mm making it very accessible and the moment i hop my feet above this motorcycle you can see that i am flat footing and my knee is bending as well my height is 5 feet 6 inches and for person my size this is very 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 comfortable very accessible and if there's anyone like short or two like my dop will put a shot of him getting onto this motorcycle he is just 53 and even he can sit on this motorcycle very very comfortably handlebar stretched out you can get a lot of wind blast that is one of the problems but then this motorcycle is still quite nice quite accessible and the longer wheel base it does look good yeah the foot sets are a more of a front set right over here you can see that my leg is in right angle overall this is a comfortable bike to be even if you're managing through traffic you won't have much problems at all there are a few things to like about this motorcycle like agrang sagar to bata diya maine but then this engine the 334 cc motor producing close to 30 bhp of power and 34 newton meters of torque well this one just shoots like crazy 0 to 100 comes very quickly but this motorcycle can stay like you can cruise at 110 km per hour making it quite worthy for long distance riding Eight inch wheel at the front and a 17 at the rear comes short with C8 zoom red right tires and these tires grip decently well There is a decent amount of vibration from this motorcycle but I am comparing this now with the Java Perak which was there earlier now since things have been updated things have gotten a little more smoother this is now BS 6.2 compliant plus the smoothness has come into place if you are keeping the RPM numbers below 6000 RPM so anywhere below 6000 you will find this motorcycle will be comfortable it will be nice there will be some vibes coming from the foot pegs from little bit from the tank and little bit from the handlebar but that's about it this motorcycle is not much of a corner craver so if you are tackling corners you might have to put in some efforts but then again straight line stability is something that is like brilliant it just stays glued to the road and because you're sitting so low you find it even more accessible you try to push it even more and you enjoy it even more the suspension on the rear has very less travel compared to all the other bikes i have seen till date so because of that there is a bounce back effect and if you're going through bad section of road the ground clearance is not enough plus the longer wheel base it tends to touch even more frequently so ground clearance the suspension comfort and the overall ride balance is something that you won't like as much handling is nice it is sharp it is agile but then comfort it is a little bit lacking when i say it's comfortable for shorter people it means it's accessible for shorter people but soft to nahi hai yaar ye The switch gear is quite extensive. On the right you get a kill switch, you get the hazard light button, there's a starter button. On the left you get a horn switch, indicator switch right over here, and there is a multi selector switch on top, but I don't think that it does anything more other than switching between the data on the cluster which is an LCD small circular unit, tachometer on the top, 
speedometer in the center, odometer right below it and it switches to twin trip meters right below that is the fuel gauge on the left is the gear position indicator and a clock below that that's about it there are no extra details so this is a bare basic simple motorcycle with simple amount of details but there's one thing which i like it's this unit this thing has dual chargers uh, type a and type c and these uh, usbs you can use to connect to your devices and you can charge your uh, mobile you can charge your gps mount you can use a lot of other electronics on the motorcycle and you can use this to charge which is quite nice for under 3 lakh rupees, this is one of the unique motorcycles you can get and exactly for the price 2 lakh 70, which is an on-road cost for this particular color of the bobber. I know bobber is not a specific category that's been there worldwide. It's just a bob job. Basically, you can cut short kar dete hai, sab kuch. But then again, it has become a category now because you get a bobber from the Royal Enfield 650s. There's this one as well. There's the Java Perak 2. And overall, these motorcycles are these unique propositions for soul riders and for someone who wants to make a statement when they arrive and overall it is a motorcycle to show off so if you are out in the market if you are a short rider looking for something that's like out of this world get this thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one